So I'm pretty sure that the title of this video says the current views and likes of this video. Let me quickly walk you through how I did it. So around this time last year, Tom Scott released a video which was mind-blowing where the title of the video was the current views of that video in real time. In the video, he explained the process of how he did it but he didn't show a full-based tutorial on everything he did to get there. So let me show you how I did that. So the first thing we need to do is to go to scripts.google.com. So there are various ways we can do this according to the research I did. I saw that there are countless ways we can do this. But this is the best and easiest for even non-programmers. So right here in scripts.google.com, um, it's going to take you to this page. And what you just need to do is to create a new project. So once you create new project, it should automatically open up a particular file. As you can see, it opens up this file. So you can select everything and delete it. And then you can just paste this code right here. So this code, I'm going to leave it in the description below, a link to this code where you can get this code. I'm going to leave it in the description below. And um, I don't need to say too much, but what this code is just doing is, is a function in program. If you're a non-programmer, then you don't really need to understand this. But if you want to know the code behind this, it's just uh, a function which has some variables. Now, this variable is the video ID. That means the video which we want to update the title, uh, the views and the likes. So that's the ID of the YouTube video. You know, a YouTube video has a specific ID. So this is just getting the snippet, the statistics of that video. And then we can just cancel this and then parameters the ID of the video. And then this video views is getting the current view of that video, the current likes. And then this video title automatically changes that to the current views and the likes does the same thing. And then right here, we just put it into the snippet of the video right here. And then we update it. So we have to use this, this code, we have to change it to the video we want to update the title to. So right here in my studio, I have this video which is unlisted that never got to see the limelight. So um, what I can just do now is to get the link. If I copy the address and I come here, put it, what I just need is this ID. So that's the video ID. I can remove that now and paste. So once I paste this, this code automatically gets everything I need. And then it changes the title to this video as the current views and the current video like. So what I'm just going to do now is to save. And now that this is saved, I can just automatically press run and it's going to do that. But before I press run, I need to come to services right here. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to YouTube and where I see YouTube data API. And I'm going to click on add. So that has added to this project. So now I can hit run. So once I hit run, that should execute. And then once I go to my YouTube studio right here, I should see the views updated automatically. So let's give it a second to run. So it says authorization required. So just for security purpose, so that nobody can, so that I can change your own YouTube channel video and you can change mine, we have to authorize. So I have to say review permissions and I'm going to log in with my Google account. So could we tell me? And then, yeah, it's just saying Google hasn't verified this app because it's just our code. And then continue. So we're going to allow authorization successful and then the execution should be done so started and completed now if i come back here and hit refresh i'm gonna see that that title is gonna change so let's give it a second you can see it says this video has four views and zero likes now that title has changed automatically let me open this up let's go to the main video so as you can see that title changed this video has four views and zero likes. Now, if I like it from here, 
and I come here and I run that again started and completed and I come here and let me first mute this I hit refresh you're gonna see now that it's gonna say that's one likes so that's what this code has done but now what we want to do is to make this code run automatically so even when i shut down my laptop and go and sleep or do anything else it's going to continue doing so for us to do that we're just going to come right here so we can close this execution log come right here in triggers and then right here in triggers we're just gonna add a new trigger down below and then you can see it has automatically chosen that update title function and then time driven yes and then we don't want it to update every hour we want it to be a minute timer so we can allow it to update every minute but google only allows a particular amount of requests in a particular day so if we say every minute google allows 10,000 requests and every time we make a request to change the title it has taken 53 out of 10,000 so you can do the division to know how many you can use in a day so basically if we do 10 minutes that should be fine but because we are just testing in this video let's leave it at every minute so let's save this and then save it and yeah so that is saved right there and i'm just gonna come here let me hit refresh again okay so what i can do is to unlike and now that i have unliked as we, in this project as you can see we put it to automatically update every one minute so it should update in a minute let's hit refresh and see what's going on so it still says one likes because it hasn't updated yet so we can also make this to be real time for it to update every second but that's going to be more complex and might even cost so um let's give it a party let's refresh again and um you can see now it has updated it says zero likes so that's how to do this particular thing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and you can subscribe to my channel and smash the like button on this video and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.